Oh, I think there's a pelican there. There's a pelican? There's a pelican. No, okay. that's not a pelican. No, that's not a pelican. That's a cormoran or whatever. Okay. Hey, you ready for an adventure? I. Uh, what do you mean, ready? We're on the adventure. We're always what? on an adventure. Oh. Buckle up and get ready, because we're up for a ride. Oh, we got two go. stops, and boy, are you going to like this. That's one wild ride, holy cow. I hope you're buckled up, because uh, we're not. <laughs> Woo! What an adventure! And all the luck there. So this is our first stop. This is Middle Island. It is the most southerly point of Canada. So we are technically, unless there's somebody on the other side of us to our left, the most southerly people within the country of Canada at this moment. We're not allowed to land on the island itself because it is a roosting territory for the cormorants. It's protected. You can't land there between April and October each year and then even then uh, after that, I think you need a permit to get onto the land. To get you need permission from Parks Canada. Well, we wanted to bring you here. There are no geocaches on the island, nothing in the area. We just wanted to show you just to see the southerly point of Canada. This is kind of cool. There's thousands and thousands of cormorants on the island. It's completely flat, made of limestone. Back in the 80s, there were so many cormorants, that's the black birds in the trees. There were so many birds on this island. But the vegetation was virtually wiped out because the guano was so acidic. There was no natural predators on this island. Ministry of Natural, Ministry of Natural Resources came in, did a rapid call to reduce the population of birds, allowed the island to give it a chance to rehabilitate. Since then, as you can see, the vegetation has returned. Other birds have come back to the island. Herons, cranes, we've got uh, eagles on the island sometimes, lots of gulls, Canada geese, and the, white, the American white pelicans are also visible on this island. This is where the Purple Gang and Al Capone, this was where the speakeasy was built. They would actually land planes on this island to get the money off. Back in the 1980s, there was a fire in the building. The building burned to the ground. And of course, you can see now all they've done now is they rehabilitated back to just a, like a, a nature preserve, right? Up here on the corner, we'll be at the most southern land spot in Canada. We had the most southern geographical point. The most southern land spot will be here in Canada, just around this corner. The island's ahead of us of the American Islands. So the one that you probably saw up there with the tower, that's the Perry Tower, that's Putin Bay. The one to the right, or, right of it, that's Middle Bass. And then there's another one just to it, that'd be North Bass Island. To our left here, that's Kelly's Island. You probably saw Cedar Point as we were coming up. You can see the towers, eh? On our way to the uh, Cape Chicken Island, you can see the Pelican Nest. That'll be fun. This was very special to see the white American pelicans because they were not natural to the area and have only been seen within the last 10 years and have only just started to nest on Big Chicken Island. Before this, you wouldn't see a pelican on the Great Lakes. Well, that was some pretty interesting information. Uh, the way just wanted to bring you here to see it. It was kind of neat, something you don't see every day. Uh, <laughs> Stop rocking the boat! Next up, we're going to go to our uh, final destination, the reason that we came out here. We're going to look forward to seeing that one, and so will you. We can just make out on the horizon the object of our destination, and all around us, you can't see anything but water. We're in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of Lake Erie. This is the
the object we came for. It's a 5-5 five, five virtual. And I'm going to touch it. Stroke the virtual. There's only 23 5-5 five, five virtuals in the world. 10 in North America and only one in Canada. And that's it. Well, that was Cormoran's Roost. That was awesome. And I think I found the Cormoran's Roost. <laughs> I washed it off, though. See, that's why I'm wet. We, uh, we've had that one on our list for a while. Long time. Well, let's get back to shore. What a ride. Sit back and enjoy it. Thank you to uh, Captain Dean. Thanks, guys. Thanks for, for coming uh, out. We'll shake your hand oh, there. there we are. Yeah, it's awesome. You, it was gentlemen. a great, great ride. Oh, I hope you enjoyed oh. yourselves. Are you going to take more geocaches out like this? Of course. Anytime Absolutely. you come on, come on, on the Pelee Island. We'll put Dean's uh, links down on the bottom there and uh, make sure you contact him if you need to go to, uh, what was it called? It's not Pigeon's Cormor Roost. Cormorant's Roost. Cormorant's <laughs> Roost. <laughs> now he knows the way. He's not going to get lost. All right. Thanks again. It was an awesome. Thanks, ride. guys. Okay. Have a good time. We'll see you. Where's Geogashing going to take you?